baada ya muda kidogo kuna watu wanakuja kwangu wananiambia pasta mimi siku naongea na familia yetu i had given up on them siku naenda mikutano ya familia lakini niliposikiza mahubiri yako nikaamua ninyenyeke na nikaeza kwenda kwa watu wetu tukasameheana tukalia sana na sasa tumeanzisha hata kikundi cha familia Uh, na tunaomba pamoja pasta hata kama inawezekana can we come as a family uh, kanisani utuombe uh, nime notice watu ambao walikuwa haongei na wazazi uh, wamerudisha heshima kwa wazazi wananiambia waliposikiza mahubiri waliona they are on the wrong ninaomba mahubiri hii ipate matunda katika familia yenu families will come together maana baibo inasema uh, mahali ambapo pana unity It is a place where God commands a blessing. Bible inasema ni kama mafuta inayomwagika kwenye kichwa cha Aaron inakuja kwenye ndevu zake na inakuja kwa mavazi. Bible inasema mahali hapo Mungu huotangaza nini? Baraka. So wakati jamii na family inakuja pamoja unapata there is a blessing of God. Kwa hizo usichukie your aunties, usichukie your uncles, usichukie watu wenu maana uh, at the end of the day those are your people. Na Bible inasema mukija pamoja muwe na umoja there God commands a blessing. Nilienda mahali na mzee mmoja mzee sana akona miaka 80 na kitu akapeana mfano na wacha nikupe mfano huo. Akasema akiwa mdogo akiwa mdogo sana. Baba yake alimuita yeye na ndugu yake. Miaka ya zamani sasa naongea miaka ya ya 40s 30s huko maana ni mzee sana he is very old maybe 40s wacha niseme 40s ama 50s huko na babake akawaambia akawapatia vi, akachukua vijiti viwili alipochukua vijiti viwili akavifunga na kamba two sticks alafu akampatia yeye akamwambia ebu vunja hiyo kijiti yeye akajaribu maana ni vijiti viwili akashindwa babake akachukua hizo vijiti viwili akapatia ndugu yake akamwambia wewe ndugu mdogo hebu vunja hizo hizo vijiti naye akajaribu akashindwa baba akachukua vijiti akakata kamba akampatia huyu kijana tena sasa ni mzee ni mtu mzee anatupatia hiyo hadithi akapewa kijiti moja akaambua vunja akaivunja hii nyingine akapatia huyu ndugu yake vunja akaivunja akawaambia sikilizeni watoto wangu hivyo ndivyo maisha ilivyo mkikaa pamoja na mshikane pamoja Hakuna mtu ataweza kuwavunja. Hakuna jambo litaweza kuwagonga. Na akatumia msemo fulani nyumba ambayo haiko pamoja huwa inagongwa na, na jogoma. You know? Inagongwa na rungu moja inakwisha. Yaani meaning if your family can come together there are demons that will leave your family. Mukakubali mushikane tu na ndugu yako. Na ndio unaona watu wengine hii nakuru uh, wanafanya biashara pamoja they become big hata zile unasikia kampuni zinaanguka ni kwa sababu familia imeanza kuchukiana that is the truth sasa na mimi nasema hivi dada yako mliyezaliwa na yeye if you can unite no devil no person can be able to break you lakini mkiachana mvurugane shetani atakuwa anagonga huyu anammaliza anagonga yule anammaliza familia inatawanyika mimi naomba kwenu Mungu ainue mtu atakuwa na mafuta ya kuweza kuwaleta pamoja so that you may be united you may be one maana if you are united and you move together that family will grow in wealth mutasaidiana muinuane kimaisha muanzisha hata chama can you imagine mumezaliwa watu watano na hamuna maplot kama mungekuja pamoja muanzishe say of help group ya the karaoke's ya the ndegwas ya the otienos na muende pale muanza kuchanga kila mwezi mi elfu moja ama mbili. Munaweka sako. Munakubaliana tutanunulia huyu plot tuanze na yeye. Tutoke hapo tununue hii, tununue hii. The family will be very strong. But now wivu machukizo kuoneana kijicho. Ukinunua sofa set huwezi hata taka huyu ajue. Hata namba ya ndugu yako hauna. Yule mlevi hamumsaidia aache pombe. Unasema maisha ni yake akikufa akufe. May God help us to bring the family together. Hata kama your sister ni kichwa ngumu. Let me tell you. Your sister hata kuongelesha kama you are your friend. Wajua your friend anakuwa anakuwa careful na maneno. 
Your sister akikuona tu anakuambia mbona umenona nona hivi. Hiyo ndiyo lugha ya watu wa familia. So machua kuwa mtu ambaye ako na maturity. Aunt yako akikutupia neno urudishi na ubaya unanyamaza. Na unaifanya love covers a multitude of sins. Unasikia maneno yako iliongewa you don't follow it up. Maana hawajachukua uhai wako, hawajakumalizia baraka ulio nayo. Hiyo maneno wachana nayo. Na mina watangazia December munaenda get together. Hii mambo oh, mimi nataka kwenda kuomba, mimi naombanga December, sitaendangi. Ah ah, kuna wakati wa kuomba na kuna wakati wa family gathering. Enda ujuana na watu wenu. Wazee wakushibe uso. Watoto wako wajulikane na anko zake. Wajulikane. Sasa hii mtoto hata hajui watu wenu. Utashangaa kikuletea kazi ni amuoe. Itaendaje miaka hiyo? Mimi naomba as believers we are not called to bring to scatter we are called to bring together kama kweli umeokoka onyesha upendo kwa watu wenu if truly you are born again reach out to your family bring them on board hata ule anko mulevi ambaye huwa anatoka kidogo anavuta sigara na usiende pale na mamudi zengine za kiroho kukinuka sigara unaanza kusema shera bashere bobobosha unajua hiyo ndio shida tunakuanga nayo you become over righteous the bible says don't become wicked why die before your time another bible says don't become over righteous why destroy yourself do you know kuwa over righteous ni nini unaingia matatu hivi unaanza kuimwagia mafuta shandururu bubu devil worship akika hapa sasa wewe utapata depression utakuwa na shida you are becoming over righteous Oh babu yetu anavuta tumbako siwezi kuingia huko watoto wangu watashikwa na roho ya tumbako tumbako iko kwenye hewa mapepo ya tumbako inatawala hapo hii maneno wachana nayo We una mamlaka ukiingia hivi mapepo inaondoka demons will leave the place lakini si ndugu yako anavuta sigara unashinda hapo ukim... talk like a brother you don't win somebody by criticizing them hey, amen Yesu alikuwa anaenda hata hakumwambia Zakayo kitu alimwambia leo nitakula kwako. Hakuanza kumhesabia wewe umeiba. Kwanza wewe kamuzee mfupi, wewe ni kamuzee kabaya sana. Wewe kwanza unaenda jehana mwewe. Aina ya wazee kama wewe hakuna mbinguni. Ah ah. Alimwambia Zakayo leo nitakula kwako. Today I'm going to eat in your house. Love alimuonyesha upendo. Mary Magdalene a prostitute alikuwa na pepo saba. Yesu hakuanza kumhesabia pepo zako ni hii na hii na hii na hii usinikaribie no he showed them love the samaritan woman anachota maji yesu anafika hapo anzi kumwambia wewe kwanza najua uko na mzee ya mtu a a anamwambia nipe maji ninywe can you have a language to approach those people yesu anamwambia nipe maji ninywe naye mama anamwambia sasa mimi ni msamaria na wewe ni muyahudi na unajua hatusikilizani nitakupa maji vipi Alafu wanaongea wanaongea wanaongea. Huyu anamwambia si huwa tunaabudu kwa hii milima. Mama anamwambia hivyo nyimu naabudu Yerusalemu. Yesu ananyamaza. Paka wanafunzi wanakuja hawataki kuuliza. Mbona Yesu anaongea na huyu mwanamke? Nafikiri walikuwa na mshuku. Wanaona why should you be talking to such a woman? Listen, Jesus did not come for the healthy. He came for the sick. Do you know there is love you can show to a, somebody struggling with addiction? Afungue moyo wa kusikilize. Judges chapter 6 verse 15 Bible inasema hivi So he said to him Oh my lord how can I save Israel indeed my clan is the weakest and in Manasseh and I'm the least in the, my father's house Gideon alitoka familia dhaifu familia haina nguvu na akasema mimi nimetoka familia haina uwezo Angalia second Sam, uh, first Samuel chapter 9 verses 21 Naye huyu ni Saul Anasema hivi mstari wa 21 and Saul answered and said am I not a Benjamite the smallest of the tribes of Israel and my family is the least in the families of the tribes of Benjamin therefore why are you speaking to me like this hawa watu wametoka kwenye familia ambazo hazina nguvu weak family foundations weak family roots weak family uh, lineage wametoka lineage ambayo haina nguvu na kuna familia ziko hivyo kuvunja generational poverty Haikuangi kitu. Wajua kuna mtu maskini kwa sababu ya hali. Hebu andika hii maana pengine hujaisikia nikizungumzia. These are the reasons why people are poor. Andika hii, ni muhimu sana. 
Number one reason why watu wanakuwa maskini ni hiyo nimesema generational poverty. Unazaliwa kwenye familia iko na umasikini. Haukupewa masomo, haukupewa skill yoyote, haukupewa capital yoyote. Ulijitokeza town hivi na moyo yako na uhai yako na akili ile uko nayo ambayo umeattain miaka hiyo ukaanza kutafuta kazi. Do you know kuna watu wanaanza at a very good footing? Yaani akitoka tu high school hivi mzazi anamlipia university. Akimaliza university kagari ya kwanza ananuliwa na mzazi. Wangapi hapa ulinunuliwa gari na mzazi? Wangapi hapa ulipewa a springboard ya, ku, ya kuinuka? Sasa kitu ya kwanza huwa ni generational poverty. Number two, kuna kitu kinaitwa situational poverty. Situational poverty ni umaskini ambao unakuja juu ya mtu kwa sababu ya hali fulani. Kama saa hii coronavirus kuna watu imeacha wakiwa na poverty. Watu ambao walikuwa na nguvu yao, walikuwa na biashara nzuri, walikuwa na maisha mazuri, lakini saa hii tunaongea wanaomba chakula. Na si ati ni wavivu. Ah ah. Situation imekuja ikaharibu. Hata saa hii kuna pastors ambao kitambo ungemuuliza last year hakuwa na haja alipiwe nyumba na mtu. No, he was okay. But hii situation ikaja unapata mpaka anaandika SMS. Ana request watu kama mnaweza munisaidie munichangie niweze kulipa nyumba. Usiseme huyu pasta ni nini? Ah ah. Huyo pasta amejipata ina situation. Sio kupenda ni kwa sababu ya situation ile imekuja. Na saa hii kuna watu unasumbuka si kwa sababu ya mapepo. Si mapepo imekupeleka hapo is a situation. Hamjaona nyumba mzee anagonjeka alafu wanaanza kuuza mashamba. Anapelekwa India, wanauza hii, wanauza gari. Hao watu wameingiwa na umaskini, si kupenda ni ugonjwa. Na ndio sababu unafaa uombee afya yako. Unatangaza nimekataa magonjo ambayo itakula mahali ile nimetafuta na nimetafutia watoto. Kwa hivyo kuna situational poverty. Number three, kuna poverty by oppression. Kuna watu wanakuwa maskini kwa sababu ya kufinyiriwa. Unaingia system fulani ambayo inatesa watu. Ni system ya ku, ina, inafanya huwezi inuka. Usilipe msichana wakazi pesa kidogo. Ati ulipata kama msichana na huku na kapeanga miatano kwa mwezi. Lakini kana kula. Sasa hiyo ndiyo mshara yake. Kakula, hiyo ndiyo mshara. Haya, pov poverty yu ingine inaitua self-cost poverty. Kuna tabia tabia mwanaume akiwa nazo atakuwa maskini. Na msichana yote uko hapa. Kuna tabia ukiona na kijana usimuombe huyo siwa wakubadilika. Mutakula shida maisha enu yote. Kwanza bibile inasema mutu wa strife haombe angui. Baibu inasema drive out a man of strife and strife who sees. Kuna watu kuombe utashinda hapo ukiwest time. Kufu, kuna mwanaume tabia, ukiona mwanaume anaamuka saa tatu hivi, saa ine, huyu hata uomu, umuche muche, umuingize kwa mafuta, umubatize, atatoka bado na hile tabia. Mana kuna wasichana wanatuletianga kijana, nasema huyu kimbatize mara ya piri, atabadilika. A man who is lazy will lead to poverty. Bibiria inasema a little folding of hands, a little slumber, poverty will come to you like a robber. It is in the Bible. Kwa hivyo kijana napenda kurala, huyo kijana utapata kwamba ata attract poverty in your life. Wajua afadhali mwanamke, ye atashinda kwa nyumba, ata akiwa lezi, ata osha osha vyombu. Mwanaume tunafaa ujifunge kamba. Anyway, those are the causes of poverty. Andika hii ni kona daka kama kumna tano, the priestly blessing. Kwa hivyo, there is poverty by what? Oppression, situation of poverty, Self cause poverty ya ine ni demonic poverty. Kuna umasikini unaletangwa na mapepo. Na generational poverty pia iko hapo. Umasikini wa mapepo ni roho fulani na wafuata miaka yenu yote ya kuwatesa. Na sana sana umasikini wa mapepo utanotice. Utanotice una, unafanya hii inaangushwa unajaribu hii inaanguka maana there is a legal ground shetani anatumia in your life kubomoa kila kitu unafanya you will notice alafu kuna hiyo tumesema generational poverty generational poverty is a family poverty 
na hiyo sana sana inaletwa pia na mambo tunaita yokes in the family kama bible inasema gideonites gibeonites they will be wood cutters and water carriers for the nation of israel kwa hivyo waliwekwa nira na mtumishi wa mungu joshua kuanzia hapo umaskini wao ukaanza poverty began i pray you will never become a wood carrier a water carrier a wood cutter yani kupewa kazi duni duni mungu akusaidie na inue watoto wenu katika jina la yesu ninaomba mtavunja nira ya umasikini Unajua kuna wakati niliubiri hapa the reasons why you should never be poor. Number one, u, the reason unafaa ukatane na umaskini kabisa poverty attracts rejection. Utakataliwa na watu. Bible inasema how the poor man is rejected even by his own relatives. Mahali pengine inasema the poor man is rejected even by his neighbor. Kwa hivyo katana na umasikini maana utakuwa unakataliwa kila mahali. Poverty will destroy you it is in the bible. Kwa hivyo ngangana na umasikini useme nimekataa destruction. Do you know how poverty destroys you? Ka ugonjwa kidogo ya malaria inakuua maana hauna pesa ya kwenda hospitalini. You are destroyed by poverty. Look at Lazarus alikufa kabla ya tajiri. Na alikuwa amejaa vidonda kwa mwili ijapokuwa anaenda binguni. Kwa hivyo pamoja na kwenda binguni ukiwa na umasikini utakufa mapema. Poverty will kill you. So unafaa ungangane useme mimi si aina ya Lazarus. <laughs> Unajua kuna aina ya Lazarus na, na, na Ibrahimu. Ukae pale kwa marangu ya matajiri mpaka ufariki. Nimekataa. Hebu inua mkono sema nimekataa. <laughs> Biblia pia inasema poverty will attract oppression. Bible inasema are not the rich taking you to court. It is in the book of James. Mi naomba pamoja na kuokoka na dhahabu za binguni you will have dominion here on earth Mungu akupe mamlaka ya kutajirika Mungu akupe baraka kwenye mikono yako Ukiuza kitu inaanza kunenepa Ukipanda kitu inamea Ukianza biashara inakuwa na multiplication May God give you the ability to grow with ease and grace Unajua kuna ile ni kama ni kama mguu imewekwa oil si unaona inaenda bila, bila shida ya gari Speed mi naomba prosperity upon your journey. Mungu akupe uwezo wa kuprosper. Utoe watu wenu kwenye shida. Kuna watu ambao bila wewe kuinuka hawatainuka. May the Lord make you an employer in Nakuru. Watu wao wanatafuta kazi wanakuja kwako. Unawaajiri na unawapa mshahara. May you be a problem solver in the name of Jesus. Si useme ya better amen. Nowadays atuulizwi wajua kitambo tulikuwa tunaulizwa what would you like to become when you grow up hiyo swali tuliachana nayo Do you know what you are supposed to tell your children what problem would you like to solve when you grow up Usiwe na what would you like to become when you grow up Let raise children wakiwa problem solvers Maana hizi makaratasi watu wamejaza madigri kwa nyumba lakini ukitrain mtoto kuwa problem solver hii dunia hata kosa mkate hata ataona takataka asione ikiwa takataka anaona ikiwa kazi anaweza fanya imletee pesa ataanza ku clean city anaanza kununua marori ya kubeba takataka inakuwa kampuni kubwa maana he is a problem solver muhubiri sio tu kushika tu bibiria no preachers we are problem solvers tutakuletea neno litafungua akili yako we need preachers who are problem solvers ukiwa na ugonjwa unapona eh hey, si useme amen kwa hivyo kama ni muhubiri atafute Mungu apate karama za kuponya magonjwa apate karama ya kupatia hekima watu hiyo hekima wanaenda wanasaidia watu we don't need any more those things i want to become this i want to become that we are now problem solvers na ninatangaza ukitoka hapa may you become a problem solver. Ninatangaza kwa estate yenu watakutafuta. Kwa familia yenu they can start a meeting without you. Maana you are a problem solver. Ukiingia mahali kunapatikana suluhisho. Mahali hakuna barabara barabara inapatikana. Unakumbuka ule jamaa wa Muranga alitengeneza barabara mpaka akakuja kwa NTV akiwa peke yake. Huyo mtu ni problem solver. Now mimi nauliza what problem are you solving? 
What problem are you solving? Ata hii corona. Are you solving a problem? Is there a problem you are solving? Ata biashara yako ikiwa na ukiuza vitu watu hawahitaji. Unashinda hapo ukiipaka mafuta. Unatuleta hapo, unatuambia pastor sema neno. Tunakuja tunasema neno, lakini biashara yako haisolve anything. Naomba Mungu awafungue wa mawazo. Hapana weka kitu ambayo watu hawataki. Do you know kuna mahitaji ya nakuru? Ni kama kupeleka majacket Mombasa. Unazia kapo unasema beba yako hamsini hamsini. Blanket yapa. Mia mia. Nani ya tanunu hata tukizipaka mafuta. May God give you that wisdom. Usiweke tu biashara kwa sababu ni biashara. Mungu akupe hekima ya kusolve problems za watu. Na ukisolve problems za watu, money will come into your pocket. May you become a problem solver. In the mighty name of Jesus, may God give you wisdom for today. Mungu akupatie hekima ya leo ili usifirisike katika jina la Yesu. Biashara zenu Mungu awapatie ideas ya vitu zile mtauza kwa kizazi hiki. Hebu inua mikono ninapomaliza. I pray for the grace of solving problems. Wale ambao ni waimbaji hapa Mungu awapatie wa hekima ya kizazi hiki. Wale ambao ni wana biashara hapa ninatangaza hekima ya kizazi hiki. Wale ambao muko kwenye kazi yoyote ninatangaza kazi yako haitafungwa. Mungu akupe hekima ya kizazi hiki. Ninatangaza you will be a problem solver. You will be a problem solver in the mighty name of Jesus. Mungu akupe hekima ya kubadilisha biashara yako. In the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit we pray. Amen. That is your portion in Jesus name.